Hey everyone, welcome back to another Backseat Guide where we show you the most practical use of a character. As requested, we'll be taking a look at Sackboy for this episode. Sackboy is an interesting character, as his moves don't generate AP fast and have slow startups. You'll be primarily playing a unique keep away game that'll annoy your opponents. The moves the Sackboy player must utilize the most would be Bounce Pad Shield, Jam Session, Jetpack Corkscrew, Cakeinator, Air Shooter, and the Electric Panel. For Bounce Pad Shield, Sackboy pulls out a Bounce Pad and, well, uses it as a shield. If your opponent makes contact with it, they'll be flown across the screen. This is good for characters with physical rushdown moves such as Parappa, Raiden, and Hayachi. This move generates 30 AP and can reflect projectiles back at the opponent. However, this move is easily punishable and difficult to land, so be careful when you use it, as this is his best close-ranged attack. For a long-ranged attack, the jam session is your safest bet. Sackboy spikes a ball of jam that bounces around the screen for 1.5 seconds, or until it hits someone or something. It generates 10 AP, and is best used when combined with the air shooter, but we'll get into that later. It should be noted that more than one ball of jam can be out on the screen at a time. The jetpack corkscrew is a chargeable dash forward. The longer you charge it, the more distance and AP you gain. Using the uncharged version results in a butt drop, and charging it up results in the opponent flying, giving you 20 AP and 30 AP respectively. The uncharged version is great for starting combos and an easy way to get a kill, while the charged version is great for guard breaks or closing the gap between you and your opponent. The Kakinator might seem like an odd projectile, but it's a great defensive tool. Once the cake is shot, it lasts for 6 seconds before evaporating. It generates 20 AP, and you can only have one out at a time. It has a slow startup time, and the cakes themselves have low durability, so plan around this. This move is great for ending combos with, or playing keep away. Combined with a jam session, or cakeinator, the air shooter accelerates the projectile of your choice's speed. Combined with a jetpack corkscrew, the distance you travel enhances. You can only enhance 2 attacks before the fan breaks. It doesn't generate AP and has low durability. It's also a good move to annoy players with, as this often pushes them out of their attack's range. His last and most useful tool would have to be the electric panel. He pulls out his poppet and drops an electric panel down. If the opponent touches the panel, they'll be stunned for 1 second, giving you 5 AP. This is useful for either starting combos or playing a defensive game. However, like Sackboy's other moves, the panel itself has low durability. His supers are... Costume Clash... Cold Catastrophe. No stranger to building brave new worlds. Dab Panda is that bad. And prize bubble bonus. What you built here today will be remembered long after this sentence has ended. For costume clash, Sackboy quickly changes into one of three costumes and jumps diagonally forward. He either changes as Drake, Parappa, or Cole. They all do the same thing. The only difference is the aesthetics. The most practical way to combo into this super is by doing the uncharged jetpack corkscrew into it. This might be the most easiest kill confirm in the game. Using his poppet, Sackboy drops a row of flaming hot coals onto the field for the coal catastrophe. Sackboy can move the coals around for 5 seconds before placing them down on the ground and is invulnerable to normal attacks during the super. The coals are affected by gravity, so if you place the coals down with one coal hanging off the edge, it will fall down. Ice cream on the Finally, we come to his level 3, aka the prize bubble bonus. Just put on some shit. Sackboy is a Using his poppet, Sackboy traps his enemies in prize bubbles that can be collected. Unlike other level 3 supers consisting of traps, the opponent stays trapped after responding. Prize bubbles with AP or items also appear on the stage. Sackboy can pick up all the items during the super and kills can be counted when hitting the opponent with an item. The AP collected during this super is given to you after the super is over though. I find when it comes to bad matchups, characters that have super armor like Big Daddy and Zeus can easily absorb most of Sackboy's attacks. Good matchups are hard to come by when it comes to Sackboy, but I find that Fat Princess has a hard time dealing with Sackboy's arsenal. The combos that Sackboy have may generate a lot of AP, but are hard to pull off in a competitive environment. Well, that'll about do it for this episode. 
If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and watch our other videos. And if you have a suggestion for who the next character should be, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Keep in mind, this is a first come first serve basis, so the first suggestion will be the next character. We also plan to do certain characters later down the line, so if we don't do the character you suggested, don't worry, we'll get to it eventually.